Good day drivers. So today what we're looking at right now it's a a bleeder for your brake line. Okay? So this is a bleeder. So if you step on your brakes and your brake pedal going all the way down but you're not getting any brake or you you know you're not getting any sharp brakes, what happens is that you have ear in your ear line. Usually all that happens is that if you get a leak, like say for instance, so one of these holes maybe burst by, you know, like accidentally burst, or you got a line that somebody fixed, like a brake line fix. What happens is that ear can trap in the system. And today I'm going to show you how to bleed the ear out of the brake lines to get a sharp break. Okay, this is your bleeder. What you're looking at right now, and this is on the caliper piston okay everything is located right here this is the bleeder all right so before we go ahead and start the process what we're looking at it's this is it this is a tool the this is everything basically you're gonna need first you're gonna need a brake fluid dot three usually in you know any cars most most cars you're gonna need a brake fluid dot three you definitely gonna need this lubricate just to spray and the bleeder screw to make it easy to re you know release the hydraulic just to release the hydraulic okay this is important when you're bleeding your brakes don't use this because you you need to see the you need to see when you rem like unscrew the bleeder you need to release the hydraulic that's coming out of the line so don't use this you want to use this okay so usually the size on the bleeder is got maybe 10 millimeter but this mines is a uh, 516 depends on the car you have but this is the same process for most cars okay the next thing you want to do you want to spray your bleeder with the lubricate oil as are usually WD-40 you want to spray this the reason why because if this crack you got to change everything you know the whole system the whole caliper so usually just spray this first if you if it look too rusty and you don't trust just make sure you buy a caliper just in case this messed up the cali new caliper that you have you will get this on the new caliper all right because this is not replaceable if it if it crack on the top it's not replaceable you have to change the whole piston caliper or caliper piston whatever you call it okay so the next thing we're gonna do you're gonna you wanna jack up as you like show you real quick you wanna jack up both wheel at the same time just look what I'm doing right now pay attention you wanna jack up both wheels at the same time okay and the tire gonna be off the ground I mean yeah sorry the tire have to be off the ground but remove both tires and put the tire for safety underneath the rotor like that okay and that's the passenger side going back around as you can see the jack in the middle you want to want to jack up jack it up from the frame no I'm gonna do the driver side first okay and you gotta just watch the old video don't skip because if you skip you're not gonna learn how to bleed the brake line okay so watch the old video just to learn so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna turn the driver side can see reason why I do that because I have enough space to start the process okay and you usually a lot of people do it by themselves but to be honest you need a, you need a second person you need one more person you need one person to sit in the in the seat and pump the brakes and you know let them know when to stop I'm gonna show you the process of that so right now I'm gonna make I'm gonna put the the tool on, and I we, we, you don't want to lose the test. You want to tell the person in the driver's seat to pump the brakes three to six times 
and pressurize the brakes down to the floor don't 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 move your your foot because you need when you release this the person foot gonna go down so that you, and then you're gonna get actually spilled out okay you, you need a piece of cloth just in case you don't have like a bucket usually I just spread a piece of cloth when I finish I just, I just throw it away in the garbage okay and then you do, that's why I just buy the new new arm um, brake fluid okay so we're gonna start the process now okay um pump the pump the brakes three to six times okay all your foot down okay don't move your foot keep your foot down Okay, we're gonna give it one more time. Uh, pump, pump it again. Yeah, do it one more time. Uh, pump it three to six times. Okay, keep your foot down. don't have much coming out okay that's it we're gonna do the passenger side now okay you, you could remove your foot now okay okay driver so you see the reason why I do that Whenever the the person push their foot down and you release the the hydraulic or the brake fluid, what happens is that you're releasing the air. Okay, they gotta keep their foot down because if you release the screw and they remove the and, and they remove the foot the same time you're releasing the screw, ear gonna go right back in. So you gotta pressurize the ear out. Okay, so unscrew, pressurize the ear out, then screw back tight and let them remove the, the, uh, the foot from the brake pedal. Okay, so right now we finished the driver side, we're going to do the passenger side now. Same process. And one more thing, don't over tight this arm bleeder, it's very delicate, don't over tight it because it's easy to break. You just want to give it just enough. You know just enough tightening you don't go all the way and you know break it okay that's another way you can break always remember put put your rubber back on if you have one or your cap we're on the passenger side now so we're gonna turn this wheel right back as you can see the the bleeder Okay, so this is a bleeder right here. So you see, you get you so you get enough space. As I said, usually you buy a caliper, you get the whole thing with the bleeder. Okay, this is not replaceable. So once it's break, you got to get the whole thing. So that's why I, I'm taking my time showing you the right way. And you know, don't you? I don't want you guys to skip this video. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Leave it there like for like two minutes. Okay, uh, press it three to six times, please. Okay, keep your foot down. See, this a lot. That, that was a lot of a lot of. You see, get the pressure to go. You see, that, that's a lot of here come out. Once it's, once it's spring up like that, it's better because you get the, you get more here trap, you get more here release from this system. So as you can see, this one maybe have more air in it than the other one because see come out really fast. 
Okay, press it, uh, do it one more time. Uh, uh, press it three to six times. Yeah, keep your foot down. Okay, remove your foot. All right, thank you. Okay, so, all right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll just do it two times. You don't need to do it too much. You could do it like three times, you know, I'll just do this two times. Because the, my, my break wasn't as that bad with a lot of hair in it. And what you can do, do, you wanna do the, the back the same way, if you have, especially if, if your break is that bad, you wanna do the back the same way, the rear and both sides. But always do the front. The reason why I do the front because 80% brakes in the front at all times. So you want to get the, the brakes, a, a sharper brakes in the front. 80% brakes in the front, 20% in the back. So always do the front. If it's really that bad, you could just do the back. But I just usually do the front, okay? Okay, so the last thing you want to do, which is most important, is you want to top off the brake fluid reservoir so you want to open it because remember you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot of fluid and you just top it off that's why we buy a new um, brake fluid and you just top it off a little bit you don't want to overfull this you want to keep it to mass to uh, max okay so you just want to top it off just a little bit not too much cover it up back okay and that's it. Okay, and that's it. So now you know you're good to go. Okay, so hope this video helped you. And you know, if you guys like the video, share the video, you know, press like. If you want to support the channel, you could click down below, you see my store. You know, you could support me by, you know, go to the store and, you know, whatever you, you, you like, you could, you know, support me by get one of those um, um, products at my store. Um, thank you. Have a good day. I hope hopefully this video helped.